The painting that I was assigned to research was John Constable's The White Horse. In 1819, John Constable exhibited the first of his monumental six-foot canvases, which he had hoped would attract attention to his artwork. His previous works had only been small compositions, but he wanted to enter the great tradition of European landscapes. The painting was shown at the Royal Academy exhibition that same year, and the, it was actually really well received and was purchased by Constable's friend, Archdeacon John Fisher, who renamed the artwork the White Horse. Constable had originally titled the work A Scene on the River Store. Constable is quoted saying, There are generally in life, in the life of an artist, perhaps one, two, or three pictures on which hang more than usual interest. This is mine. Constable, after like quoting that, he actually ended up buying back the painting in 1829 and he kept it for the rest of his life. There's a full scale oil sketch though the, of the white horse that's actually in the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Um, the painting is a scene of the Soar River located in Suffolk, England where Constable grew up. In the bottom left hand corner of the painting is a white tow horse being ferried across the Soar River um, just below the Flatford Lock at a point where two towpaths or switched banks and you see two men that are pushing against the current with long poles while in the back of the boat the horse which will be used to pull the boat stands patiently. From the left hand corner uh, the scene opens up and you can partially see a white house through the trees and the brush along the riverbank as well as what looks like kind of a large grayish brown looking barn. Um, then following the river across the painting from left to right you see a road that kind of draws your eye to the background of the painting and then up into the soft blue sky with white puffy clouds. Um, this picture is a representation of the soggy lands of the Store River, the decaying houses as well as the hard-working inhabitants that lived along the riverbanks. And although another painter might have painted poverty in a different way, Constable really celebrates it um, and as a testimony, kind of, to the hard-working yet poverty-stricken people living near the Store River. You can see in the center of the painting there is a tree that's growing on this little tiny piece of land which is crumbling into the river. And so it's kind of like saying that the tree really like doesn't have a right to be there, but it's flourishing, which is kind of like a, like a tribute to the people that live there. So that is all I have about the painting. So.